Aquam Array is an amazing mod that adds many new things to Minecraft revolving around a newly added ice maze biome spawning on top of deep frozen oceans. The maze is fairly safe during the day, but when night comes around, you might want to make sure you're fully equipped to take on the horrors that wander here. Inside the ice maze, you will find three new structures to explore and loot, as well as acquire valuable items to progress through the mod. We have one main boss, alongside two mini bosses, there are new armor, new weapons, and much more. The shipwrecks will spawn with many villagers and vindicators on board that you will need to defeat before you can get to the loot. Inside the ship, you will oftentimes find villagers imprisoned inside cells. There will be dozens of barrels filled with loot with a small chance to find a dagger of greed. Inside the captain's cabin, you can kill a pillager that'll drop a shell horn used to spawn the boss, as well as the first logbook to add some lore to the mod. The outpost doesn't really add much, except for some barrels of loot to acquire, as well as the second logbook located in the bow of the ship. The shelter is the final and largest structure you will uncover. It's located underground beneath a long frozen well which can be accessed from the surface. Inside you will be met with loads of pillagers and vindicators as well as a single evoker. In the main entrance you will find more barrels filled with loot as well as the third and final logbook. In moving to the top floor you can actually find a frozen chest that needs a frozen key dropped by the boss to unlock. Outside you'll find tortured souls wandering around as well as a single eel which is the first mini boss. Wandering around the surface of the ice maze you'll find more tortured souls. You'll also come across some terrestrial fish like creatures called the maw. Flying around frozen arches you will find golden moths which can be captured in a jar to display as decoration. We also get a new arctic plant that you can put into a crafting table and craft into green dye. The final part to the surface of this mod is actually the main boss, Ghost of Captain Cornelia. You must use the shell horn which can be acquired in shipwrecks near a body of water in the ice maze. Doing so will spawn the captain where you must then defend against all her unique attacks, eventually defeating her to acquire the three bolted helmet Coral Lance which has a candy cane design between December to January called the Sweet Lance, as well as some other valuable items. After you have defeated Cornelia and acquired the three bolted helmet, you can now go for a swim in the frozen ocean. Under the surface you won't find any new structures, but you will see Oxygelium, a new glowing plant made of air bubbles that allows you to refill your oxygen levels to continue exploring the depths. You also come across some passive spine fish swimming around, as well as hostile angler fish that have a 0.05 chance to spawn as the mother of the maze, which is the second mini boss. The mother of the maze is a very strong creature. Being able to destroy the surface ice above her will cause for a difficult time running from her. She's also the only source of abyssal amethyst. Akuma Ray also adds many new mob drop items to craft weapons and armors to take into battle, as well as decorations and collectibles and much, much more. All in all, this is a wonderful mod that adds tons of stuff to explore, many mobs to fight, and in-depth lore to really get sucked into the experience. And if you did like the mod and want to download it for yourself, I will go ahead and leave a link down in the description. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, consider dropping a like and subscribing to stay up to date with all my uploads. And with that, thanks for watching.